everybody, welcome to Excel Video 314. Just a quick follow up to that project I told you about last time. If you knew that established patients were two or three times more likely to leave your practice the first time they saw provider A than the first time they saw provider B, would you want to talk to provider A? Well, you would if you knew who, which provider was provider A. When you're ready to do that kind of analysis for your practice, I'd love to help you. I want to talk just a little more about calculations and pivot tables. Just a couple of things, and really the most important thing I want to show you is right here. It's a little bit confusing. Remember we did this calculation last time. If you decided, oops, you know, I got the calculation wrong, or I want to change it, or I want to edit it, or whatever, if you come back here, the same issue we had with 2007 and 2010 last time, the same way to get to the menu. When you get here, you say, well, what happened to my percentage calculation? It's clearly here. What happened to it? This is the trick. For whatever reason, when it, you have an existing calculation and you go to this menu, you have to click the drop down and there's the percentage. If you wanted to change it to a, a write off divided by build or you wanted to involve some other, some other field in your calculation, the trick to the game is when you go in, you can't see the existing calculation or, cal or if you have more than one, you can't see them at all until you come down here and click this drop down then you can get to the existing calculations you can modify delete do whatever you want to do that's the first thing I want to show you where existing calculations hide in that insert calculated field menu the other thing I wanted to show you is from here if you had six or ten of them and it got kind of complicated you wanted to look and say alright what are all these formulas maybe I've got another spreadsheet I want to use three or four of them again in or something like that from this same menu go to list formulas what list formulas will do is see it just created a brand new tab for me and it says okay I'll tell you what your formulas are here's the solve order and I'm gonna say something more about that in just a minute there's the name of the field we just called ours ours percentage and there's the formula what the solve order says is hey if well and here's a pretty good explanation down here if the cells updated by more than one formula which one do I solve first do I make this calculation and then that or do they make that calculation first and then I come back to make this other one or these other two or whatever you can deal with the solve order by coming back to the pivot table, options, and solve order. And this will list the uh, cells in the pivot table that are affected by mo more than one calculated item. And you can move them around and try to decide. It's a little bit grayed out. Hopefully, you can still see it on the screen. Move up, move down. You can move these calculations around. If you want to calculate this item before that item, that's how to do it. Those are the three things I wanted to show you. Where things hide, existing calculations hide in here, where to list all the formulas you have, and then just a quick comment about solve order if that matters for you. That's what I wanted to say about calculations. We've been through the calculations that are here. Summarize values by, remember we did, let's see if, let's do it this way. Summarize values by, it's up there as well, but this is the only way to see it in Excel 2007. Sum, count average, you can do some calculations inside the field there. Show values as, we went through all these options to do all kinds of different running totals and percentages and percentage of the parent and all that good stuff. And then you can do three ways to do calculations outside the pivot. Two outside, get pivot data and this plain percentage and the third way inside the pivot table. That's what I wanted to say, big picture, about how to do calculations with pivot tables and the data inside them. Stay tuned next time. We're going to move on from calculations. i got more pivot table tricks to show you, and we'll talk then. Thanks for watching.